Now we have to find equation of the tangents to the curve y equals to 2x square plus 3 that pass through the point 2, 3. Now, if I substitute 2 here, what do I get? 2 square is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. I get 8 plus 3, 11. I don't get 3, right? Whatever I substitute for x except 0, I don't get 3. Perfect. So, so what we have here is a parabola. And clearly at 0 it is 3, right? So at 0 it is 3. Okay. Now, and a point which is 2, 3. So, so somewhere outside. So from that point, we have to find equations. If we have a point outside the curve, then actually you could have uh, two tangents. So uh, we'll just draw two tangents, right? not bothering where the points are. Both y values of 3 do indicate that they are horizontally placed, but I'm not doing it, right? We are just trying to figure out a general solution. We say this is the point 2, 3 for us, external to the curve, and that's the curve. Now, let us assume that the point on the curve where we have a tangent from external point 2, 3 is at x equals to a. So this point will be a and the y value will be f of a, correct? So that becomes the coordinate. So clearly, what is f of a equals to? f of a is 2a square plus 3. So that is 2a square plus 3. So at a, on the curve, any point in general will be 2a square plus 3. Now, what is the derivative of y equals to 2x square plus 3? Derivative is 4x. That means slope of the tangent line at any point is 4 times x. So at a, derivative will be, at x equals to a, it will be 4a, correct? So this is one way of finding derivative. The other way is, we could always write rise over run, correct? So the alternate method here to find derivative is that slope m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in our case, y2 is this value, which is this value. So we could do 2a square plus 3 minus 3 over x values a minus 2. So we get slope between these two points. We can call these points as let us say p and q. So slope pq is that and also 4a. So we can equate it, right? So this could be simplified as 2a square over a minus 2. Now both these slopes are at a point A, right? So that means y dash at x equals to A should be equals to mpq, right? So that gives us an equation to solve. So we get here 4a equals to 2a square over a minus 2. Perfect. Since it is at the same point, two slopes, both should be same, right? So now we can cross multiply. So we have 4a times a minus 2 equals to 2a square. So that is 4a square minus 8a equals to 2a square. Bringing that together, we get 4a square minus 2a square minus 8a equals to 0. Now we can solve for a, so which is 2a square minus 8a equals to 0. Factoring 2a will give us a minus 4 equals to 0. That means a equals to 0 or a equals to 4. So we get two values of a. Now, if a is 0, what is f of 0? f of 0 is 3. So if a is 0, we have 
f of 0 equals to 3. So we have one point and if a is 4 then what is f of 4 equals to? Substitute 4 here. 4 squared 16 times 2 32 plus 3 35. Got it? So what we did was we substituted 4 here. So f of 4 is 2 times 4 squared plus 3. 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 plus 3 is 35. Got it? So we got two points. So basically we got these two points. So one of the points for us is, let me write down here. So we have two points. So we'll call them as Q and R. So point Q for us is, let us say, uh, A value of 0 and Y value of so 0 and 3 and R for us is 4 and 35 now slope is is given by this expression y dash is 4 times x value so slope m in this case is 4 times 0 is 0 and in this case slope is 4 times 4 which is 16 perfect so we have two different lines so these are the tangent lines now 0 3 is the y-intercept slope is 0 so the equation for this line is y equals to 3 or you can write y minus 3 equals to 0 either way in this case we could write slope as 16, so y equals to 16x plus b. To find the value of b, let me substitute 4 and 35. So 35 equals to 16 times 4 plus b, or we could do 35 minus 16 times 4. 4 times 6, 24, 2, 64 equals to b, or the value of b is equals to, now that is a negative value, 14 take away 9, 5 is 9, borrowed 1, so it is 29, correct? And therefore, the second equation is y equals to 16x minus 29. So these are the two equations of tangents to the curve, perfect? So we can write down our answer that the equations to the tangents to that curve that pass through the point 2, 3 are, are y equals to 3, and y equals to 16x minus 29. Perfect. So that is how this kind of question can be solved. So have a good look at it.